Canaan, the last Padawan, Book One, Part Four. It is a period of betrayal. The evil Emperor Palpatine has taken control of the galaxy and commanded Imperial clone troopers to purge the peacekeeping Jedi Order throughout the new galactic empire. On the run from the Imperials and former allies, clone troopers Command Grey and Captain Styles, Caleb Doom has discarded his Jedi Padawan robes and traded in for a blaster. Now, following the Kaleran smuggler named Kazmir, Caleb must learn the ins and outs of his new role, a common thief. Caleb soon finds that his list of friends and allies is cut short, however, when a scheme gone wrong leads Kazmir to turn Caleb in to Imperial hands. Betrayed, again! I barely hear what follows. I'm telling you, the kid's a Jedi Padawan. Come on, Gemmert Key. You must remember. You met him that time. I don't know. He looks different. I'm thinking Kazmir's right. I'm thinking that kid attacked me with one of them Jedi lightsaber swords. Too past you, rat. Should have known you were the one who blew my op. Sorry, Kazmir. I'm thinking a reward's a reward. Yeah, well, the Empire's reward on a Jedi is worth five times all these IGRMs combined. So let me keep the droids I liberated. Call it my modest share. Then the rest of you can claim the bounty and the credit for capturing the traitor. I'm the traitor? My name is, was, Caleb Doom, and I was a Jedi Padawan. Is this the boy you've been hunting, Commander Grey? That's him. Hold him there. Captain Stiles and I are at the Imperial Garrison at Plateau City, but we'll be there to carry out his execution for treason within the hour. Execution? You're dead meat, traitor. Now I'm just a traitor to the new empire, and no one thinks twice about betraying a traitor. The Last Padawan, Chapter 4, Catch Well, we'll leave you alone, give you this time to make peace with, with, whatever you Jedi make peace with. What do I make peace with? The Force? I've never felt less of a connection to all living things. Master Balaba would be so disappointed in. Psst! Kid! Ready to go? Huh? I'll take that as a yes. Stand back. You just gonna stand there? Am I? No, I guess not. I follow my master's last order to me. I run. Stop him. Open fire. Can't. The force shield. After all, what other option do I have? I'm thinking you can drop the shield. Our bounty's getting away. So you didn't betray me? Thought about it. But I wasn't about to let that rat, Tapask, collect the reward. How reassuring. Come on, kid. It all worked out. 
In fact, it worked out so well, we should pull this con on every world in the room. No, thank you. Fine, fine. We have other options. Common sense tells me I should ditch this lying tough sucker. Instead, I depart Claire with my new friend, just ahead of my old ones. So off we go, headed for worlds unknown. Our partnership proves profitable from moment one. We sell the stolen droids and use the capital to finance Kazmir's next scheme. I don't think about Master Balabra anymore. I don't want to think about what she'd think of me. I have a lot to learn about being a thief and a smuggler. But even without a lightsaber, I'm useful in the clutch. Besides, it's kind of fun. Of course, there's a downside too. Don't know where they went, I swear. Word gets back to us that Grey and Styles haven't given up. If that little Jedi thinks he can get away from me. Didn't see any Jedi, I swear. But if you did, now or at some later date, I contact you, first thing I swear. No need to swear, your oaths come cheap. Just remember we all have our duty to the Empire. To do what must be done. They track us from planet to planet, always just a step behind. It's getting old kid. Every time we finish a gig, we have to hit hyperspace to avoid those two clones. I swear one of these days, I'm going to hit it without you. I mean, ditch you and leave you to them. Say, are you even listening to me, boy? I hear you, but let's face it, clones or no clones, it works to your advantage to stay on the move given your chosen profession. <laughs> the kid's learning. I guess this would be the moment. The moment I realise my friend has become my friend. Our next stop is Lon. Kazmir's arranging a trade. Stolen goods for stolen goods. Trouble is, we haven't exactly stolen our goods yet, so Kazmir takes off to case the target. And sends me to confirm that our trading partner has what we came for. Hello? Mr. John Doe? In here. I'm John Doe. You're not John Doe, you're General Cleave. Don't come any closer. I take it we met during the Clone Wars and that you were on the side of the Republic. I wonder, how do you like your Republic now? Understand, as a separatist, I fought for freedom, but put my trust in a corrupt leadership. You were the leadership, a general. The Jedi were generals. Do you truly believe they comprehended the cause they served? Holster your weapon, boy. We are no longer enemies. Perhaps we never were. Kazmir sent me. 
Did he know it was you? I doubt it. By necessity, John Doe has learned to cover Cleve's tracks. I have Kazmir's ship. Does he have my spice? He's getting it. He just needs... Wait. A ship? Don't move. Where's the Jedi? Jedi? Thought those traitors were all dead. We both know a Jedi Padawan remains. It's my duty to rectify that situation. I understand. But I can't be of much help. I ditched the stupid kid right after we left Kaler. And yet somehow I'm confident Caleb Doom will show up here and soon. There's no real option. There never is for me. The best, the only way to save Kazmir is for the stupid kid to vanish. Kazmir told Grey he ditched a Padawan. So if the Padawan never shows, there'll be no evidence against him, and Grey will have to let him go, eventually. Or so the coward tells himself, as he ditches his only friend. The ship, the ship is the key. Kazmir and I talked about it all the time. A second ship, our own little fleet. If there was trouble, we could split up, shake it. Meet at a pre-arranged rendezvous. That must be why Kazmir was dealing with Cleve, Jondo, whatever. Now if I can just take early delivery. You must be joking. No, look. Kazmir will still bring you your spice shipment. You mean Janus Kazmir, who's already under arrest? They arrested him for harbouring, well, me. They'll release him once I'm gone, and... And I suppose they'd never let him rot in prison for being a thief and a smuggler. Or simply out of pure spite. After all, we both know how easy-going clone troopers are. But... But you expect me to just give you a ship anyway, based on what? Our prior relationship as deadly enemies. But are we still enemies? The clones want you, General, just as much as they want me. And the enemy of my enemy is my friend. Cleve takes me to the ship and complains the whole way there. I must be out of my mind. So you keep saying, over and over. Point taken. It's odd. I never relished combat, but war brought out the best in me. I... I know what you mean. And my life as Jondo, it diminishes me. Oh, I definitely know what he means. But tell myself I don't. Ex-Padawans don't have the luxury of self-examination, reflection, or recrimination. They can't afford to let old masters stand in judgement. There, Bay 17. She was originally called Farbrook's Hope, though Kazmir was planning to rename her the Kazmiri too. No vanity there, right? Maybe I'll just call her the Escape. Seems appropriate. I think I'm in love. I think something's wrong. 
an old danger awakens old senses and, unfortunately, old reflexes. I don't reach for my blaster. Instead, I reach for a memory, for a lightsaber I no longer keep at my side. Too late, I've realised my mistake. Too late. Now, traitor, we finish what we started. To be continued. <laughs>